Every single time Plasticity has a new release, I am astounded at how meaningful the updates are. Nick and the team really have a knack for choosing features to include that improve functionality and have consequential use cases for artists and designers. Welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. And in this video, we're going to cover some of the beta features of Plasticity that I think will change the way that we work and the way that we can work in Plasticity. And just quickly guys, if like me, you are a tinkerer and also want to try the cutting edge beta and experimental features before they're in the stable release, you can get access to beta and experimental releases with a Plasticity Studio license, which will also give you access to some of the more advanced professional tools like Xnerbs. You can use my code REFUGE10 to get a 10% discount off any Plasticity license, either the Studio or the Indie. Now last time a new release was around the corner, I like many other people got caught up in the hype train that was Xnerbs. And Xnerbs, don't get me wrong, it's amazing, but I had ignored up until that point editing CVs on spline surfaces. And when finally I got to try it out, for me that tool was the champion of the last release, as it fundamentally changed the way that we can build shapes and plasticity. Now that I've finally had a chance to go through some of the beta features of the upcoming release, whenever that may be, here are some of my favorites. So we'll crack into it. Now the first one you can actually see on screen, we're in material mode. And this has always been able to see transparency in material mode, but now we can also see it in map cap mode. And you can see that these are transparent services and it actually works with any map cap. Even this black one, you might not be able to see that. Um, and even this lines one, the zebra stripes, and even the basic one, and even the mat caps that you've created yourself. So the mat cap now honors transparency of a material, whether or not the mat cap honors the color data. So that's pretty cool and it's really cool for objects like this which is supposed to have an interior uh, because if it's got windows or something like that it gives you a quick peek in to see where everything is rather than having to i don't know hide something like that so that's really cool now um i'll just hide this for a second and we'll get into the next one okay so the next one is the deform command um, and this is a really cool one. So let's just build up a plane here. Let's, I don't know, make a cylinder over here like this. Okay. So we can add some text in. Subscribe, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And we'll choose a different font. Okay, all right, we've got our text. We'll scale that up. So now that we've got everything in position, okay, we select all of our text or whatever object that you want, and you can hit um, deform, choose this as our reference. Okay, and as you can see, there is a gap here and then choose this as our main object and that's going to vanish and it's gone around the side and you can see it's all warbled up and whatnot. Um, if we hit UV, it's going to come around right. If we scale it and then we can offset it maybe on the same in the other direction. Okay and maybe even offset it on the Z like so. And then you can hit OK. And now you've got text curved around there or any other objects. Um, this is gonna replace the unwrap command. Uh, you can also do it with a curves. So we should be able to just deform and that's gone into a completely different spot okay and once again we scale it 
bring it up and it seems to be a little bit more performant on the um, curves okay so we've got that command there so there was other ways to do these kind of things before but this is really really handy now so there's a, a, a lot of other things that you could do as well so um, we could even rotate x90 hit deform and bring that around there hit uv offset it and bob's your uncle so the next thing that i'm going to show you is another really cool feature so you might be trying to do something um with plasticity and you're like oh this would be way easier in uh, poly modeling software but i actually wanted a nerb software so let's say that you get an object in blender like something like this right all right and you know that you want this shape here so now what you can do is you can just come into plasticity um, you can drag and drop an object into plasticity okay and now we've got our object in plasticity and then you can just bring a curve in like this and you can start tracing it out and you can see it snapping to the vertexes or to the vertices rather and we can do this we can do this a few times and as we do this we start to build up our shape very very quickly and the snapping is actually super handy and then really we can just hide this and whatever you want to do loft these loft these and then we can maybe x nerves something like that in and bob's your uncle that's a really nice cool workflow we've got our funny little shape that we so the next other feature that i want to show you is back in blender we'll get rid of this guy we'll just delete that we can actually drag and drop our obj exports from blender in so we'll just import that okay put them on the side and just drag them up like that okay so that's really cool um, and actually blender doesn't support viewport transparency so plasticity's got one over blender on that for the viewport colors but what you'll see here is that all the viewport colors are now represented um, directly from plasticity so that's really cool if we go into material mode change these around until we've got something that's to our liking you know reduce the roughness increase the metallic and we've got these metallic legs make this a little bit darker and then like really we can walk around our scene go inside our guy and we've come straight through and that transparency data that we had in plasticity was respected and we can really just like look dev this stuff like really really easily much easier than we could before you notice i just dragged and dropped that into blender 4.2 and i can see the the scale and the the size and i can walk around my scene and there's shadows and lights and materials so that's all really cool um so that's another cool feature now back in plasticity another cool uh feature is um there's been updates to the array so um we can array those around like that and now there's these new uh things for repetition Alrighty, so we get we've got that and that's both on the radial array as well so we can repeat there i think we were always able to do that and we've got spacing as well and we can so there's new features there on the array modifier um, another cool thing um, is that make this into a custom plane and down here we've got our planes so we can actually move those around and add them to groups and whatnot so that's really cool as well and the final thing i think i want to show let's just delete this 
So the next feature that I want to show you is a new addition to X nerves. So let's say we've got these uh, four sided edges like we can patch that. Actually, let's turn our zebra stripes on. So we can patch that and we can get it to G1 basically. Or we can X nerves it and it starts to get these uh, lines and as we tab higher it gets it gets better and better but there's a new command which is square which if we go back over here we'll be able to see it we can define the amount of degrees and spans that we get on a surface okay so this might not be the best example but it gives you a little bit more control over um, this x nerves sort of um, feature and then we can just join that on there and if we go to the zebra stripes you'll see that that so x nerves and x nerves g1 you're getting this uh, shape here and square it's a lot different so it's just another option to surfacing advanced surfacing now i'm not entirely sure if that's going to be uh i'm pretty sure this will be a studio only thing because it's a, a you know it's a pro level surfacing tool but that's just another option to you know as as a difference from x nerves general i think it might be very similar to when you do an x nerves um if you go to X nerves and you choose quad sided and it just gives you a little bit more control over that quad sided um, you know aspect so how much detail you want and that's about it for the uh, beta features for me there's I know there's more other features that have been included in the beta release but those are the ones that um, I liked the most and am looking forward to much more coming soon. So once again, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And if you're going to buy Plasticity, use the code REFUGE10. It helps out the channel and you get a discount. So um, do that if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one. Tschüss.